Welcome to Romero Visitor Center, overlooking San Luis Reservoir. That big body of water you see as you arrive is the largest off-stream reservoir in the United States. San Luis Reservoir holds 2,027,840 acre feet of water, or 652 billion gallons. It's an essential part of California's water delivery system, helping solve California's water problems since its completion back in 1967. How? Back in the 1950s, California had a water problem. California cities needed water for their growing population, and the San Joaquin Valley required a reliable water supply for farming. So in 1960, Californians voted to do something about it and began building the State Water Project, one of the largest water delivery systems in the world. This was an enormous and expensive job. So here at San Luis, the state tied into the Federal Central Valley Project. Both systems capture water in the northern part of the state that comes in the form of snow and rain. The Central Valley Project delivers to the Central Valley. The State Water Project reaches Southern California with a series of natural waterways, canals, pumps, and reservoirs. The two systems share San Luis Reservoir. Since both the state and federal governments use the reservoir, it's called a joint use facility. This reservoir serves a special role in both water projects by storing water when it's plentiful and releasing water when it's most needed by farms, homes, and businesses. August 18, 1962 was a warm summer day. President Kennedy, Governor Edmund G. Brown, and other dignitaries gathered for the groundbreaking of this reservoir. Congressman, my old uh, friend and colleague in the Congress, Governor Brown, Mrs. O'Neill, the Mayor, Secretary Udall, and the Secretary Cobb, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure for me to come out here and help blow up this valley and uh, the cause of progress. <laughs> And what this project also symbolizes is the state working with the federal government, the local communities working with the state. This program is unique in this area. There is no other project in the history of the United States where a state has put in such a large contribution to the development of its own resources and where the national government has joined with the state. This has brought your state to be the pioneer in the United States in the field of development and conservation of our natural resources. California in this area is number one. And it has helped make possible the San Luis Project, which joins all of us together as full and equal partners. This is our task in the simplest terms, to strengthen the United States of America. And I'm confident that here in California, which looks to the future and not to the past, that you understand that lesson well, and I hope from this great project will spread a renewed sense of commitment by all the American people so that this country in 1962 can continue to move forward. Thank you. President Kennedy and Governor Brown then set off smoke grenades that showed where the three and a half mile dam would be built. Then a helicopter flew overhead, indicating the height of the dam, as high as a 20-story building. The immense undertaking began in January of 1963. It would require the moving of more than 77.6 million cubic yards of earth and rocks to create the three and a half mile dam. The project included construction of a pumping plant that also serves as an electricity generator. Excavation for the dam required digging more than 100 feet into alluvial deposits down to bedrock. Huge construction equipment was necessary to make the construction possible. A special machine called a bucket wheel excavator dug earth and loaded it onto trucks simultaneously. 10 buckets on the wheel with a combined capacity of 25 cubic yards did the digging. 
the large trucks, as well as bulldozers and earth movers, transported material to the dam site. The dam is named for Fresno Congressman B.F. Sisk. Its core is comprised of several layers of material. The base is clay. The next layers include lava rock, also obtained from this area. The final layer is made of large lava or basalt rock called riprap. It protects the dam from large waves created by strong winds in this area. The Gianelli pumping and generating plant at the base of the reservoir was designed and built to be the inlet and outlet for the reservoir. At certain times of the year, plant operators pump water to the reservoir at night when electricity rates are lower and release water during the day to generate power when rates are higher. This greatly offsets the cost of operating this enormous reservoir and keeps the price of water reasonable. In August 1967, exactly five years after the groundbreaking ceremony, San Luis Reservoir and adjacent facilities were completed, two months ahead of schedule. In addition to water delivery, San Luis offers a variety of recreation. Campsites can be found at Basalt, San Luis Creek, Maderos, and Los Baños Creek. All campgrounds are open year-round. Trophy-sized striped bass and catfish provide popular fishing for the angler. And O'Neill Four Bay offers some of the best wind sailing in California. We hope you'll take advantage of some of these activities available to you. Thank you for coming to Romero Visitor Center here at San Luis Reservoir. We hope you're enjoying your time here.